Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'm Queen Esther. If you've been here from the start, welcome back. Alright, so this is very, this is a serious word. This is for somebody specific, alright? A specific word for someone and then the Lord said, there's actually a few of you who need this word. Excuse me. So, I was, I said, Lord, like, I am so, have so much faith for what the Lord told me. But I just felt like asking the Lord, Father, who had this promise and is about to give it up? Give me a word for that person, for those set of people. And I heard the Lord say, kill the flesh and yield to the spirit, okay? Your spirit has it. But your flesh is making you waver and he's talking about your marriage all right he said it's here it's now i did not lie god told you something and your flesh believe it you had it you have it right but then your flesh start you start thinking about this thing logically and how you feel he said, you feel like it did not happen because of how you feel. You feel like it did not happen. You're saying it did not happen because of how you feel, right? He's saying it's the measure of faith that brings the promise, not the measure of your feelings, all right? Not how you feel. He said, I said it's here. Believe me. All right, let me say this again. You feel like it did not happen because of how you feel. You get what I'm saying? It's the measure of faith, not how you feel. I said it's here. Believe me. And he said, a few people actually have this feeling. I have spoken and my word shall not return unto me void. Fall will not stall. This is the season, all right? And let me tell you something. I'm doing a video. Go back. When I'm finished, I'll come talk to you. I just want to say hi. Go back. Thank you. All right, so seriously, if you live by your feelings and what you think, then you're not going to get nothing. Everything takes faith. Faith is not what you feel or see. It's what the word of God says. What does the word of God say, right? And this is the scripture he gave me. Jeremiah 33 verse 3, right? Let's go to Jeremiah 33 verse 3. It says, Call unto me and I will answer thee and shew the great and mighty things which thou knowest not. You don't know what God is doing regarding this thing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You don't know what God is do, doing regarding this thing. You need to... He actually spoke to you already, but you're listening to your flesh. Don't listen to your flesh. He said, call on him. If you need more understanding, if you need more wisdom, if you need more confirmation, call on him. And he will show you exactly what he's doing. All right, stop looking in the natural. And something happened right after he gave me this word. I, I was going to make the video, but I had to go cook. And I'm going to show you, to give you the revelation from cooking, right? Um, so, Numbers 23, 19. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Had he said, and shall he not do it? Or had he spoken, and shall he not make it good? God doesn't lie. He's not a man. Whatever he told you, he doesn't have to go and make it up. Okay? And the other scripture is Isaiah 55 verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not, not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. God is not a man for him to lie. His word will not return unto him void. Call unto him for more wisdom and understanding. If you 
try to receive things by your feeling, then you're not going to get it. It takes faith. It's the measure of your faith, not the measure of your feeling. Oh, I don't feel like, I don't feel like. Faith has nothing to do with feelings. Faith is about what the word of God says. Right? The first time you prayed, he heard you. God gave you a word. God gave you an answer. Your spirit received it and you believe it. But now your flesh is telling you it, it, it. you don't feel like it happened. Or you don't feel like what you heard is true. Like, imagine if we live by your feelings. We probably got everything. Or we probably got nothing. Based on how you feel. And let me give you an example. And this, again, is regarding your spouse. I was cooking. Here is another part of the video. I was cooking. You know, you're cooking corned beef with the key, right? I was using the key to open it. And the thing broke off halfway. But I was like, I don't care if the key broke off. I'm still going to open it. I believe it's open. But I'm telling you, I had to... I know it's open. I believe it's open. But I had to, like, struggle a bit to open it. And I heard the Lord say, The key is their faith. When you have the key, it goes smoothly. That is the key. When you try to do it in your own strength, then you're toiling. You're toiling for the marriage. You're toiling for the spouse. You're toiling for the restoration. He said, just have the faith and the door is open. The door is already open. He told you this, but you're wavering because of your flesh, because you don't feel like it's happening. If you live by your feelings, you're going to miss the blessing. All right? So I was cutting cutting the thing and i wanted to add some beans thing to it but it was upstairs and the door was locked and i'm like i ain't even worried about it i'm just gonna make it by itself as soon as i put it in the pot the girl came and opened the door and the holy spirit quickened me now you could go get the beans and he said that's exactly with the marriage they need to let it go and relax when they're not even expected, it's going to show up. I wasn't even expecting it. I just let it go and I wasn't stressing about it. And she showed up. With at the perfect, as soon as I put the, first of all, when she came, I was literally scraping the thing out, the, the, the tin to put it in the pot. And then the Holy Spirit quickened me about it, right? And when I finished cooking the food and everything, I'm like, ooh, good thing, like, see, good thing I got the beans. Because, man, this tastes way better than I thought. It's going to be way better than you think. Stop seeing time. Stop looking for it in the natural. That's what he's saying. Stop looking for it with how you feel it should show up. Stop giving it your time. Stop thinking, oh, it should be next week or whatever. God said it's now. Just know it's already done and it happened now. You heard God right. He did not change his mind, all right? God is God. He's the creator. If he said spoke something to you, he's not lying. He's not a liar. Why would he go against his own word? Do not live by your flesh. Do not live by what you feel or see. What does the word say? What is faith? That's what you need to focus on. God is saying, I did not lie. He said, I did not lie. You heard him right. Okay, you have it. Don't let it go. You're literally thinking of letting it go and giving it up and probably go settle for something else. All right? He said to kill the flesh and yield to the spirit. Kill the flesh and yield to the spirit it's here it's now i did not lie that's what he said so you better grab hold of that word again and start speaking life lord i believe that i receive it i have it now i have it now i have it now right stop you feel like it didn't it did not happen because of how you feel that's not faith don't live in your flesh okay live in the spirit yield to the spirit all right he said if the word he spoke to you shall not return to him void Fall will not stall. This is the season for the marriage. Your marriage. You heard him right. It's him. It's whoever you're waiting for. This, like I said, whoever this word is for, it's for a few people you're going to know. You're going to know because you feel like throwing in the towel. But in the mighty name of Jesus, we kill the flesh right now. I come on your flesh to die and yield to the spirit. In Jesus' name. I pray this word blesses you. All right. Don't live by what you feel. Don't live by what you see. Live by the word. Your marriage is here. It's now. It's done. That's it. Point blank. Period. All right? Have a beautiful day. Stay blessed. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Bye.